Now we're going to do a sectional plot or profile through our site or through our surface. To start off with, we're going to draw a line. We're going to do one uh, across our site. And we're going to do another line to traverse our site as well. To do our cross-sectional plots, for these lines, we need to turn them into alignments. So selecting the line, we're going to go to alignment and create alignment from objects. Select the line that you want to make into alignment. The direction is given by the arrow in the center of the line, which you can reverse around, but it's okay. We'll keep it going from top to bottom. And we'll set the defaults. So we'll give it the alignment and name of alignment, in this case, alignment one. And I'll change the line from a white color to a green color. Repeat the process for the horizontal line that we're going to use for the longitudinal section. Again, looking at the direction for the arrow in the center, we're happy with that. We're going to go from a left to right direction. Set the defaults. All right, so we're going to, when we look through our site or through our surface, uh, the alignment is going to be used to show where we're going to cut through the surface and hence will give us a cross-sectional view at that point. To do the actual cross section, we're going to go up to the top and go to profiles and create profile from surface. Here you can see it's already selected alignment one, which is which was the vertical one, and we only have one surface in our plot, so it's going to use alignment one with surface one to do the cross sectional view. So we're happy with that, and we're going to add that into the lower window then we're going to draw in profile view we'll accept all the defaults we'll go back and we'll change uh, axes and titles and so forth uh, what we want to do we'll accept all the defaults and create profile view and then place that in on our drawing here you can see for this alignment it's already got the cross-sectional view uh, in place. We'll repeat the process, this time using the longitudinal or the horizontal alignment. So we'll go to profiles, create profile from view. This time we'll be using the second alignment, which is the horizontal one, again with the first surface. We'll add that. Draw in profile view. We'll accept all the defaults. We'll go back and change them later. Create profile view and then find a place to plot it in. And there you can see that's the cross-sectional view on, across the site. You can see the red line uh, gives you the profile of how the ground changes. some text to label our section lines. We'll copy these to beside our section lines.
modify the properties for the horizontal labels. So now we've got two section lines labeled AA for the vertical one, BB for the horizontal one. Okay. Now I'm going to go and look at our first cross section. Click it, highlight it, right mouse button click, and go to Profile View Properties. First thing we're going to do is to change the title. So under Profile View, we're going to edit current selection. And we're going to go to the title annotation tab and I'm going to change the text that is shown above the graph and I'm going to type in section AA okay that apply okay and if we apply it the title of the graph has changed now I'm going to work on the Vertical axis on the left hand side, again into profile view, edit current selection, and we're going to look at the vertical, vertical axis. Here we're going to change the major tick and the minor tick in intervals to coincide with the contour lines that we've just drawn. Interval for the major tick, 0.5, interval for the minor. 0.1 meters. Apply OK and apply and you can see that there's more grid lines being put in place. However, the way that the vertical axis scale is chosen, the graph itself is quite narrow. So back to the vertical axis and we're going to go to the graph and for the vertical scale we're going to choose a scale of 1 to 10 and that should stretch out the vertical axis and apply next thing we're going to do is to look at the left axis and the information that's displayed currently it's the values of 10 10 10 and 11 so we're going to go and modify that information back to vertical axis We've got our interval correct for the major tick and the minor tick. We're going to change the information that's shown by modifying the click label text. Delete the information that's already there. We're going to bring across the profile view point elevation, but we're going to change the precision of it to be to one decimal place. Bring that across. OK and apply and if we apply that you can see that now the heights are given to one decimal place what I will do as well is add in the same similar information but for the minor tick so here to modify that we'll go to the minor tick details into the text box we'll delete what was there and we'll Take the precision to be 0 0.01, so the two decimal places. Bring that across. OK, apply, OK, and apply. But no information has been displayed. We've updated it, but it hasn't been displayed. So back into profile view, edit current selection. Then instead of going to the vertical axis tab, we're going to go to the display tab and what we're going to look at is what is currently shown for each component on the graph here we're looking at the left axis we're going to put on or show a left axis title and we want to put on a left axis annotation minor so that should give us the minor intervals we'll apply that OK 
okay and apply and you can see we put a title on there and as well we've put in the intervals at the minor ticks now we're going to work on the horizontal axes to work on the horizontal axis we're going to click on our section right mouse button click edit profile view style and we are on our horizontal axis interval is chosen to be every five meters okay so that's brought down to be the major interval at every five meters we click on our section view right mouse button click properties the information that's shown there at the bottom right with the change and the values for the height that's under bands so I want to remove that so highlight the current band that is there and we'll remove that and that should remove the text from the horizontal axis then we're going to go back into profile view current selection and we'll put our own label on the horizontal axis here we've got an interval of every five meters so to put in some text along that horizontal axis we're going to go and choose tick label text and modify that we'll delete the current selection and what I want to do is bring across the station value I'll bring it across shown out of position or shown in one decimal place and what I want to do is just bring across as a decimal number bring that across okay that apply and okay however it isn't shown go back into profile view and go to display and now we're looking for the bottom axis uh, we'll put in a bottom axis title we'll put in a bottom axis annotation and we'll apply that now you can see it's brought in the text one decimal place and we have a title what we can do is edit current selection back into the horizontal axis what we can do is that we can turn the text around 90 degrees And we'll move the text down slightly so we'll put an offset of say minus 10 to move it down 10 mil then uh, I want to change the text on the axis edit current selection horizontal axis and we'll go to title annotation so the word station is changed under the bottom axis title text we'll modify that remove the word station and put in change apply okay and apply section done is nearly done we're happy with the vertical left axis happy with the horizontal axis we'll just remove 
the annotation from the right hand side so back into edit current selection and we'll go to display and we'll look at the right axis and the right axis annotation major we'll just hide that that should remove the text from the right hand axis and we'll OK that and that's our sectional view done. If we look at the second one because it's using the same properties we'll go through and we'll have to modify it separately. Remove the bands get the vertical axes or the horizontal axes correct and we'll change the title text now working on the second of the cross sections we're going to highlight our sectional drawing profile view properties uh, because we want to do slightly different information on this one uh, instead of just edit current selection I'm going to copy the current selection and I give it a slightly different name so this is for section BB because I want to change the title so instead of currently being section AA I want to change it to be section BB so we'll only update the title on this view so press apply title's been updated whereas previously then the zoom out still showing section AA for the first We'll go in and modify the horizontal axis like we've done before. Profile view properties. We'll remove the band that's currently there. And the axis that was originally changed in the original section has been updated here as well all we needed to do was to change the title now with our two sectional views we can arrange them along with a plot of our site so that they've been plotted together on an A3 page <laughs>